We're on our Vista workstation now. Um, let's test a few things out. So let's pick an account where the restricted desktop GPO has not been applied to. In this case, that would be the administrator account for Pirates. So on our Vista workstation client, we'll log in as administrator real quick and check check his desktop. Let's see what he can do, what he cannot do. Okay, and pretty much have a standard Vista desktop logged in as administrator of Pirates. We have shutdown capabilities, um, you know, desktop capabilities. We have access to my computer. I can use the management console. And if I want to, let's go here, let's go to personalize, desktop background. I love that beautiful background there. That just the way that I guess the gradients are in this images. But let's say we wanted to make our background a solid color. How about a really annoying Pepto Bismol pink? You can always tell somebody's angry when they make their or maybe they just maybe there are people who actually like that color. But <laughs> alright. Sorry that was okay. So anyway, we do have permission to change our desktop background and you know we're not really restricted in the in these settings. So we can tell that GPU is not applying to this user. So I'm gonna log off. Now I'm gonna log on as a user who that GPU does apply to. Um, so remember, if you will, uh, that Einstein was in the research child OU, which is in the northern hemisphere child OU, which is in the super spiced parent OU. So let's go ahead and switch the user there. And we'll log in as parents Einstein. I believe he had a simple password, but I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. That was after we changed the password complexity policy um, and the default domain GPO. So he's got a simple password, just four characters, P-A-S-S, all lowercase, we're logging in. Now this time, notice it's going to apply the, you know, it'll actually apply the group policy or GPO settings to Einstein. Um, even though he has the domain GPO applied to him, he's in a child OU with the GPO, and that's applied after the domain GPO. So because of this, uh, you know, in this conflict, the way it's resolved is the last group policy applied is dominant. So he gets this mandatory wallpaper instead of the default Vista wallpaper, top secret, domain pirates, shh, Linux online for your eyes only. Um, and again, we want to go ahead and close this and let's see what he has access to. Notice that my computer is has disappeared. So you can't right click on my computer and go to the management console that way. So this policy is applying to him. Let's try to change you know, see if we can change the background in any fashion or form. And we could try to apply this. Notice here's our picture location, you know, TS wallpaper, but let's try Windows wallpapers. And I kind of like that one, kind of like that one. Try to go with the default there. And again, it just, it has no effect in this case. And, you know, um, some corporate environments were more liberal than others, but you may work in an environment where they just want to make sure that everybody's desktop is uniform and maybe it looks good. You walk in the office and see all the cubicles with all their wallpaper the same or the company logo. Or maybe they just want to keep people from putting anything offensive on their desktop that might, you know, bother someone who's walking by, who knows. Or in a school setting, you, you know, obviously that might be useful in a school setting where children would be tempted to engage in acts of uh, profanity or graffiti or other types of, of you know, defacement of the desktop. So we're going to log out and I'm going to log in as one more user. Now remember that we filtered on Tesla. We unchecked the read and apply group policy options. That would be an implicit denial we, and we also explicitly denied him the ability to read the group policy object and to have it applied to him. That's how you filter and when you filter that's useful if, you know, say we just had one particular user in this case Tesla. We didn't want to you know, block policy inheritance and filter out all the users, um, Einstein and whoever other research scientist was, but we just wanted to filter it on one user, Tesla. Because, you know, we trust him, we know he's he's not going to offend anybody, um, you know, Tesla. So let's log in as Tesla and see if this, indeed, this policy, this GPO has been filtered on his user account. 
So we'll walk in here. Logging in, logging in. And again, notice, even though he's in that OU, the same OU that Einstein was in, our restrictive group policy object, our, our desktop GPO does not apply to Tesla because it, he was filtered. So we, you know, he doesn't have permission to read that GPO, so therefore the GPO can't apply to him. He has you know, computers there. He has a default wallpaper. He has permission to change his wallpaper if he wants to. Um, all of those settings do not apply to him. So there's two basic ways we can you know, block a group policy. We can choose block policy inheritance, but the problem is that blocks it for everybody in the whole OU. But if there's just one specific user, notice you know, he can choose different backgrounds. But if there's just one specific OU, um, or one, one person in an OU, excuse me, that you want to block a GPO from applying to, then in that particular situation, filtering would be a better option. And he's kind of a nice little lavender desktop there. Um, okay.